Look at all this valerian. All in full bloom. <laughs> busy, busy with bees pollinating it. There's foxgloves in amongst these. This has taken about four years to get this looking like this. There's a bit of pink. I don't mind. I didn't know I was sowing white. It kind of... I pulled the seeds from other plants around the place and threw them in. And then I'm very pleased with how this Jacob's tree has turned out. The pink valerian in front of it is gorgeous. And look at these poppies. Ah, oh, just heaven. And then there's clematis I have. There's several different kinds of clematis in this, wisteria. It's looking really, really good. I'm very pleased. These are all white agapanthus underneath so that they'll look great against this Jacob tree. And there's the end of the peonies and more loads of white agapanthus all in there that will start looking gorgeous. But it's all looking fantastic. And then there are the chooks. They have to be in a cage because of the foxes that are dumped. Foxes are trapped in cities. This is what several farmers and I think is they're trapped in cities and released in the countryside. And they hunt during the day because the local foxes hunt in the morning and evening and at night. So I was losing chickens dime a dozen. Can't afford that. So the chickens are now in the old dog kennel. But what's interesting is the size of that Jacob tree, that bed was stuffed full of well-rotted manure when we made it, planted at the same time as this Jacob tree. So I planted two of them. And this one got manure, but not a huge amount. But you can see how much smaller it is. The much smaller. This is my wild area. There's all kinds of trees and flowers and weeds and shrubs, beech, um, cherry, oak, it all mixed in there. As you can see, there's fennel as well and yarrow. All kinds of things are in that, as well as loads of grasses. So I feed the chickens regularly. I give them lots of stuff uh, that I kind of weed in the garden. You can see the dried up, my dried up piles in there. So they're, they're getting loads. Yeah, I know. Good morning to you too, except it's afternoon now. Now that I have the camera on you, you're not gonna crow, are you? No? As soon as I turn off, you're gonna crow. Well done, there we go. So, a hot sunny day, and I've got to go and get ready because I've got somebody coming to buy some lambs, but I'm really pleased with how this parking area is turning out, and the old dog kennel come hen run, and the flower bed that kind of helps blend it into the background. The other thing that I've done is... If you look up here, I've put wire across the top. I want to do more wire across the top over there so that all these vines can grow and it becomes a really lovely sheltered place. You can see the vines are already growing up there. Somebody must have laid an egg. You've announced it to the world. So I better go and get it before a magpie or a crow does.